Hello everyone. In the last session, we will discuss about the what are the effects of the cross magnetizing effect. Now we will discuss about the remedies of cross magnetized effect. That means how we can decrease this cross magnetizing effect because cross magnetizing will affect on the um, which gives adverse effects and bad effects on the DC machine due to the armature reaction. But we need to recover from the all the adverse effects. In that first point is by using high reluctance pole trips by using high reluctance pole trips is the first thing that means that is what is the meaning of introducing the rectangular holes under the pole shoe so generally we have this is the leading pole trip the trailing pole trip so trailing pole trip means trailing pole means the resultant flux will increases so in order to decrease this we should add some rectangular this is some rectangular uh, hole whenever we add this rectangular hole then automatically the flux flow will be decreased from here only the flux will be flows only this part only this part from this we can control the we can decrease the resultant flux this resultant flux will be decreased here okay so this is the this is the first remedy to reduce the cross magnetizing effect next next by chamfering the salient pole chamfering the salient pole means generally normal pole is like this this is the pole and pole consisting of the thing is like this this is the pole pole consisting of the like this okay yeah and chamfering of the pole means here the this is the pole same pole gap but the pole gap between this pole and the armature will increase here this is called the chamfering of the pole whenever the chamfering of the pole mean increases what happens reluctance increases same procedure when the reluctance increases what about flux flux will be decreases same here also the reluctance represents with yes increases then it will affect and the flux that will be decreases okay this is the one of the method chamfering of the salient pole next here the effect of cross magnetizing under the polar region can be reduced by the compensating winding so we will use the compensating winding that will reduce the the thing generally so compensating winding is here the compensating winding are placed in the slots made under the pole shoes so this is the pole shoe and this is the pole shoes the winding and the slots will be placed on the pole shoes it is connected with the armature it's connected with the armature so for the purpose just take it as for example assume this is the north pole and this is the south pole generally so you know that the general thing under the north pole we have the we have the cross under the north pole generally we have the cross that means what is the meaning of the cross cross means cross represents current is going under under the south pole it will become the dot what is the meaning of the dot dot means current will be up so this will be the dot and this will be the dot and this will be the dot and the, this will be the dot okay so to control the here itself we should arrange compensating winding what is the compensating winding but here the north pole we should give a different again we should arrange some slots we should arrange the under the shoe so these are cross that's why we will use the dot dot notation and here this is the south under the south generally the dot slots are available so but it opposite you should give some cross slots then the cross magnetizing effect will be decreases and the most important thing is how the flux how the 
this how this armature will be how the armature uh, how this winding will be excited means generally we have the brushes are available so here here the here it represents it is connected in series with the armature winding that's why if you take the winding winding is gives like this and this winding is enters and the same winding is connected through it and this will be over so this is the we can take it as the armature winding we can take armature winding so it is excited by the armature winding okay so this winding is the compensating winding so if you observe here this is the armature current the same armature current flow in this compensating winding okay so by using this compensating winding so this complete this comp complete winding is the compensating winding the compensating winding will decrease the cross magnetizing effect it will decrease the cross magnetizing effect okay it is in series with the armature generally it is in series with the armature okay so this is a very very important thing the most important thing is generally we have the armature is here exact opposite winding is available across the shoes okay next next we have the another important thing is there that is compensating winding mmf is exactly the compensating winding mmf is exactly opposite to the armature mmf so here we have compensating winding is there winding it consisting of the mmf what is the meaning of mmf it exactly opposite to the armature mmf what is mmf magnetomotive force so mmf is equivalent of the emf mmf is very famous in magnetic fields magnetic fields but emf is very famous in the uh, generally the emf field electro electric fields yeah yeah so it can utilize the effect of cross magnetizing under the polar region so that's why generally in the polar region we have cross magnetizing effect that will be neutralizes so that will be neutralizes so effect of the under the polar region but compensating winding placed in only large machines is subjected with the variable loads but compensating winding you should apply only large machines not for the smaller machines okay only for the large machines the that machine must and should consisting of the variable loads large machines with variable loads okay because when load changes the armature current changes here what happen whenever the load is varies then automatically armature current also varies okay flux changes so whenever the armature current varies it is a process of cycle then automatically flux will be varied okay thereby statically emf is induced whenever the flux changes emf will be induces emf will be induces e equal to n into d5 by dt whenever this flux is varies then automatically emf will be the induces okay if this induced emf aids to the actual generated voltage net voltage is increases here the emf will be more already some emf increases due to this some compensating winding emf both emfs will be added the net voltage will be increases so here net voltage increases if this exceeds b and a particular value so if the value will increases what happen due to the effect insulation will fail that means mica insulation will fail mica fail thereby short circuit of the commutator segment whenever the mica insulation fails means you know 
the short circuit will be possible short circuit of the commutator segments this process extend entire commutation then causes the flash over finally you know that the big flash over occurs the big flash over occurs okay yeah so that's why it should be useful only it should useful only in the not for all the machines so it is very very important point it is we have a star point that is the compensating winding only compensating winding is placed in only large machines subjected with the variable loads only so it is not for the all the loads in this loads only it is very applicable so otherwise otherwise we are getting so much so much of problems okay so these are the remedies so these are the remedies some important remedies regarding the cross magnetizing effect okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you